just where today is that day <laughs> i get to hold you back to back i had a lot in store for you when we started the show and clearly if you've not had if you've not seen the 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 had in store for you i don't know what else you'll see but on my last conversation this morning i have a juicy one mm, mm. i think you've already gotten it from the song that it's bound to be a great one his name is xg yeah. but i don't want to jinx you today today <laughs> i'm being polite <laughs> politeness <laughs> at its highest <laughs> so i'm being modest karibu sana yeah, you're welcome you. sorry karibu is to say welcome yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> i just had to confirm <laughs> please introduce yourself yeah i'm a, i go by the name xg i'm an artist and a recording musician so uh, I'm from Nigeria and I'm representing Africa. I love Nigeria. <laughs> there was a time I wanted to get married to a Nigerian. <laughs> oh, you should have been. <laughs> I'm not yet married. I'm still okay. thinking, but okay. <laughs> I, I love Nigeria. All right. You you people have rich culture, rich music. Yeah, it's, rich. It's, it's and I love Oga. Hey, what's the I know. I love it's 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 the life of the party. Yeah, Nigerians are loving people by the way. Yeah. Mm. It looks like from the movies. Yeah, even in real life. <laughs> <laughs> the movies I, I've interacted with a few Nigerians mm. in my university days. Oh. Mm. And they weren't bad people. So yeah, we're not. I might actually think of it. <laughs> but you're welcome. You're yeah, welcome. Thank you so so who is XG? XG is a recording artist uh, all the way from Nigeria, like I've said before, and I'm uh, I've been making music for a while, and uh, I hope the future holds something greater for me. So why did you, why did you move to Kenya? Okay, uh, I've been here before. Mm -hmm. I launched my first, first music video, second music video here in Kenya, mm -hmm. before going back home. Then I, the reception I got from people was really awesome. And uh, I was like, why not try this again, here again? Mm -hmm. So I believe uh, you guys will support me more and I will make you guys proud. <laughs> so what genre of music do you do? Okay, I'm into more of Afro-pop, Afro-beat and uh, just world music in general. I love asking every person I talk to this question. Okay. Why, 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 what's the story behind you doing music? <sighs> It's more of um, an experience for me because mm -hmm. the first time I did music, it makes me more uh, more of myself, me more outspoken, and I feel people relate to me being in the music mood and the music lifestyle more better. Yeah. So um, you feel like it's in music where you thrive. Mm -hmm. You you like get to express express yourself? myself more oh, better. Yeah, 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 I was looking for that. Uh, yeah, so when I'm in that music mood, it's more about reality, happiness, and all. So what do you what do you what what message do you uh, centralize on in terms of your music? In terms of my music, it's more of being being encouraging to yourself and to others also, and being. Uh, know that you have to work hard for yourself you see know that whatever you do uh, it's it's something great no matter how small it is it is great what's what you are about to give up on it's something someone is praying for so that's it so how how different have you f found music in kenya uh from nigeria uh is it on the sound level or on the all lifestyle all, all uh, everything <sighs> sound audio videos a lifestyle everything the people you've worked with here in kenya and the people you've worked with back at home just the whole some experience okay uh -huh. the number one thing i would say is the difference there is like uh, the unity i don't know more about the background in kenyan industry i'm not trying to judge or anything mm -hmm. but i feel like there is less unity and uh, honesty between people in Kenya industry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so respect to people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I would say that's the big difference there because uh, doing it alone, you can go far, fast, but you can't go far, that's it. But when you are with people, you share different ideas, uh, work together, 
I believe it's it's a very long it's a very long run. It's a journey. It's not something that has a particular mm -hmm. date you are going to stop. So just work together, build each other. That's it. What would you say you miss about probably producing music in Nigeria that you've not found in Kenya? <sighs> Okay, aha. Uh -huh. The most recording artists just believe in like, yeah, you are, not, you are, you are a musician, <laughs> but still you will need, sometimes you need that, that energy, that passion from people around the studio. Some people like recording alone. Some people love recording amongst people, but whenever you record, your producer should be someone that is into you, someone that understands you that understand your heart, your, your perspective also. You see, it works together that way. And you know whatever sound you have to work with. So I think in Nigeria, people have different ideas on a particular content. Moreover, mm -hmm. you are the one, you are the artist. Mm -hmm. They're like, why don't this go on this? Why don't this go on this? I've had this somewhere like this. So you add it together. If it works, you use. But mostly here yeah, in Kenya, they're like, I'm a producer, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, everyone knows what they are doing. I'm yeah. an artist, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah they know what, they are, what you know what you are doing, but sometimes just... Allow. Mm, let, let it be free. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's just it. Wow. Well, do you want to probably move some of the things you've experienced back home here? Mm, not for now. <laughs> Why? That should be on, uh, on another time let's put it like that oh wow mm. now is there something um you found that's interesting in the kenyan music industry that you that was not there at home hmm. yeah i would say uh kenyans or east africans in general mm -hmm. you guys are related to music as a fans more than west africans that's one thing and uh that is one thing, that, that's something that uh, a musician can use to prove himself as a good musician. When you have that good reception, love flowing, you see. So I think there is more, there is more high fans value in East mm -hmm. Africa than mm -hmm. West Africa. Than in West Africa. Yeah. Oh, wow. Are you, are you, have you, or are you looking forward to uh, probably open a label here? Yeah, probably. But only God knows the future. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you leaving it to God? <laughs> yeah, only God has the only God has the key. That's it. We we human can just make plan, stay firm on our plan. But if it's not been endorsed by God, it just won't be. But I'm willing to. I'm willing to let people uh, relate to my music first and uh, learn from lifestyle, educate each other mm. on music just for growth. And it's not a one day thing. It's not like I'm stopping next five years, I'm stopping next yeah. 10 years. This, this it, it, is that this or not? Once you have that belief, I want people to know it can be done. Mm -hmm. Amazing, amazing. Um, you, the pro you have a project you've released. Yeah. You want to talk about it? Yeah, I have a new release called Banging, mm. featuring DJ Kalonji and uh, Reckless and Kofi Machete. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a new view, they just like uh, four days ago. Oh, the wow. video was released four days ago. And um, would you like to know anything about the song? Yes, 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 please talk about it. Mm, okay, aha. Uh -huh. Uh, I met Kalunji first, actually, and uh, in a particular uh, program, we actually just exchanged number like powers, you know, understand? I went to support his shows from there. I was like, yo, bro, is there anyone we can, like, get related with, like, a sound or something? I was like, he has a producer, these, these. We ha I had the sound. I'm like, okay, okay. So I have friends here in Kenya, you understand, they were like, this beat sounds more of Genge tone. I'm like, okay, there can mm -hmm. be something like Afro Genge, you understand? Mm -hmm. So they were like, yeah, that's a cool idea. So I just bounced on it and it came out well. Then we we're like, who can be more 
supportive to this project mm -hmm. to bring out the limelight. So we shared ideas that were like this, 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 and that. So we're like, okay, let's let's do something. You know, let's, let's work something out together. That was just it. Then we, that was it. Hit it, uh, hit yeah. the ground ready. Yeah. Who, in, in, um, in instances where you're releasing such music, who funds the project? It's more of my team. Mm -hmm. I have myself, I have my team, and I have my own family also. We are 12 in number, so you should know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you should know when oh, they, have, they have their own belief on me also, yeah. so that's it. So your family have really taken up this thing, like really seriously. Yeah, it's it's my life. It's my. Can I move know. to Nigeria? You should. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Here in Kenya, <laughs> sorry Kenyans, I'm not spoiling. It's but here all in Kenya, over. <laughs> before your parents accept that you want to do music. Yeah, it was not for a, a it, career. It was not accepted at first, also, but the life is evolving. It's 2023. They see things going on also. You let them know this person did this, just doing this online, this one just did this online. Mm. So they were like, so it can work, okay? So how, how easy or difficult was it convincing them? It was not easy. <laughs> it was not easy, but uh, gradually, gradually, I start meeting people, start going to studios. And uh, the lifestyle they thought music would bring into me was not what it brought. They were like, you're going to lose your way, this and that. I was like, no, I know what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> so at the point going on, my brother was like, just let him do what he wants to do. Yeah, so, yeah, we are. So your song is four, four days old. Yeah. What are the plans to uh, marketing it, putting it out there? It's, it? it's, on, it's on every platform, actually. Spotify, YouTube, these are... Audio Mac, anywhere, just you can just search E X G W E on Google, like banging, you will find it automatically. So, you won't. I made it easy for people not to be stressed. Out. So, what is the song about? Yeah, it's more about uh, being confident, yeah, and uh, knowing that uh, whoever wants to stay will stay, even she's beautiful. Yeah, I let her know she's beautiful, but. Slow down if you are being too fast for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're cute and everything, but if the speed is too much for me, I can't control it, you know. Is it, I, really, I really love poking <laughs> my nose into, into... I'm sorry, I really love poking my nose into people's businesses. Is there, is there a particular personal story, reason you wrote this song? Like, personally for me, it's, yeah. not, it's not a personal experience. Mm -hmm. But we are guys, you understand? We talk, mm -hmm. we, we... Things happen to guys, just <laughs> like you ladies also, like, really? Yeah. <laughs> so that was it. That it was more from guys around me. So, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think the, the curiosity in me is expecting you to say more. And I'm like, when you start saying it, I'm like, okay, is there everything else to that song? <laughs> but really, but really, um, what do you consider um, when you want to do a collab with any musician? I consider the sound mostly. Yeah, sound mostly. Yeah, it's not about who is trending, who is that, who is that. Who, who will I be more supportive? Sometimes it doesn't go that way, but I think people should consider who will sing best on your music and who is willing to uh, put effort, if not even a lot of effort, a little bit of effort at least. So that's, that's what I mostly consider. Mm. Nice. Um, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. You are a motivational. Uh, <laughs> I think, I'm, yeah, I'm sounding like one, you know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So I actually saw it that you're a motivational crusader. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. Okay, uh -huh. starting from, it started from my music journey actually. Mm -hmm. Like I said before, I can express myself more better through music. And it was not that easy, you understand? I feel like. Mm. I wasn't among people, but uh, music brought that out of me. And, uh, and I feel like there are a lot of people I'm seeing that are being that way also. Like they don't know what they want. They are not like really happy, stuff like that. Like some people believe 
this is going to make them happy, but it might not be that. Mm. Just find yourself, you understand? Mm. So that is more of my journey and uh, my music also. So you talk to musicians, just musicians alone? No, 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 or just to just, everyone? In, just to everyone. I'm more free and music is bringing that best out gradually also. Okay. Yeah. So you are more of, um, your, your, your type is that you, you will use music to motivate people. Yeah, exactly. Okay, that's, that's okay. No, I was thinking you're the, every time we hear, it's a Kenyan thing now, every time we hear motivational speakers, we think about those people who, no, <laughs> they're creating no. memes actually about motivational speakers. Oh. Yeah, so I was, I was thinking, is it more or less the same thing or it's different? It's more or less the same thing. The result is what you actually want, you know. So don't be boring because you want to motivate people. You are getting them <laughs> depressed more. Yeah, you're telling them how you, you have to work every day. To yeah, school. yeah. No, no, no. It's not run like that. You should actually show them your lifestyle. See, you don't just give people what you can't also eat. You know. Mm. So that that is it. Tell them you can you can digest this, and they will be fine if they do the same. Yeah. Nice. Amazing. You want to tell us about something else you're working on? Yeah, actually, I have, an, I have a lot of music down. Okay. So I want you guys to support me. You guys will motivate me more to do better in my now sound. Yeah, trust me, I have a lot of goodies down on music, inspirational, motivational, and uh, pop, anyone. So I, your results for me is what I'm going to give to you next. So I want your support. Go to my Instagram. Follow me, go to my YouTube, share my videos. It's all over. <laughs> I'm really intrigued. I really, um, I'm hearing my director is telling me time is up. But before um, she gets to chase us away from <laughs> here, I, I really want to know, what does your name stand for? It's, it's been in my mind to ask you, <laughs> XG. Like, um, how did you come up with that name? I love, I love how artists have come up with names and, and they're very unique. And they're very, they sound nice, like XG sounds nice. Yeah, it's, it's more of extra greatness. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> extra greatness. Yeah. Ex, ex, eh. Today I'm learning a lot of things. <laughs> so extra grace. Yeah. Yeah, extra grace. Extra I'm ginger. Grace. Yeah, extra grace. Yeah. <laughs> from, from next week, Dakwana Wambia, my name is extra grace. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> But um, where do you see yourself in the next like five, five years? In the next five years, I, I see myself being able to have a lot of people that believes in my journey, that mm -hmm. believes in me in a positive way than the way I am. You understand? I hope I'll be able to influence people and people can be like, yeah, he did this through SG. You understand? Mm -hmm. He did good things through SG. That's what I am open for. And true music also. Yeah. A nice, nice, nice. What collabs do you look forward to doing? <sighs> in Kenya? Yes, in I would love to work with Bian Sola. Definitely Bian Sola and Yan Shisuke. Oh, why? Their why? sound, their sound is it's their sound is not based on maybe East Africa, like only Africa. It's, their sound is relatable by the world. Yeah, their sound is something you can play to someone that doesn't understand English or Swahili, then they'll be like, yeah, it's saying something good. And when you translate, it's actually something nice also. So I hope to work with you guys, yeah? And I won't disappoint. <laughs> so we should wait for a Nyashinsky, Bensol, uh, collabo somewhere along the line. Yeah, yeah, somewhere along the line. We will, we will be checking out, we will be checking it out. Mm -hmm. You have something else you want to say? Uh, shout out to you all. You guys have made it possible for me to be here today. And without you guys, I won't push forward like I have been insisting. Push me, let me push you also. So, <laughs> 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 listen to my music. I love you all. You need to teach me some pigeon. Before what do you go. want to know? You just to teach me some pigeon. I need to brag when I leave the studio today. Okay, just be like, how far now? Waiting they happen. Uh, that, that one, at least I know how yeah. far now, guy. Yeah, you waiting they happen. What's waiting up? they happen. What's, What's going on? How you day? I've had that in. Where you day? 
yeah where you day i had that one um i went I went, there's something you guys said it's very interesting why am i forgetting it today <laughs> when i have a nigeria <laughs> <laughs> but it's really it's really interesting yeah, i love interesting. i love pigeon i was mm-hmm. saying if i was to learn an extra language pigeon would be one of those languages yeah by the way pigeon I, is I love, awesome i love those afro cinema in pigeon hey papa emeka <laughs> <laughs> don't try am don't try am i go back to you <laughs> but thank you thank All you right, for thank you for having thank me you so also much, so much for coming please tell us your social media handles and and um, shout out uh, to your team or something okay using uh, the camera Okay, for my social media, Instagram is e x g w e worldwide w o r l d i <laughs> x g worldwide and then uh, Twitter w w underscore x g. That's it. And shout out to my team. Shout out to everyone that has been supporting me. Shout out to Flo. Shout out to Babu. <laughs> and shout out to Great um, Gloria. Shout out to Critical. Everyone, one love to you guys. Thank you. Thank you for coming. It means so much to us. Mm-hmm. Thank you for making time. Thank you for teaching me more pigeon that I, <laughs> that, that I knew and, and a bit of Nigeria, you know. Mm, you're telling welcome. me extra grace. Yeah. Hi, I, yeah. Believe in that, man. <laughs> you you've loved me with something. <laughs> that was XG extra greatness. Where I'm still I'm still I'm still stuck at that point and I feel like I've had a good day. It's been a good morning. I don't know what you're taking home this morning, but I am taking extra grace. I'm taking extra grace home and I hope you have an extra ordinary day and I pray that you have an extra great day. I've been your host Grace Maingi. Thank you for having having kept us company here at Y254 TV. Hashtag Y in the morning Thursday vibes. Don't touch that dial. Um, a lot is coming up after this show and of course we'll be here tomorrow same time, same place, same conditions.